Hey, hi Sonal. Good morning. Hi Sindhu. Good morning. How are you doing today? Yes, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. How are you today? I'm doing good. Thank you. So okay. let's start. Yes, of course. We will start up. So for today's question, it's like how do you deal conflict that emerges from personality and cultural differences or opinions? And can you give some example of it? How will you ensure that all are feel heard during the conflict resolution process? So that is today's question, and we are going to demonstrate some eight scenarios for today's questions. So scenario one. Hi Sonal. Uh, Sonal, for that development activity, I feel that um, we have this kind of design so that uh, um, you won't uh, you won't lose like last time. You lose. Uh, uh, last time. What do you what do you mean by lose? Sindhu? I I missed that. Um. I lose it or uh, no? I did not understand. No, no, no. Okay, instead of saying you lost last time, I said lose. Uh, sorry for this pronunciation mistake. Sorry for it. Please take care and be more conscious from next time. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Situation. Situation two. Yes. So. Sonal, um, when we had our discussion last time, it's like uh, the requirement approach. What what BA brought into was quite good. Okay, as per me, and we de we delivered things properly. I believe. You um, you think the requirement approach was okay, Sindhu? Are are you really sure about that? Um. Yes, but uh, why are you? Last time also, we we were doing the same thing, and and uh, there were a lot of issues in the end. Don't you think we should uh, think about uh, some other plan or or something? Uh, Sonal, uh, see, I brought this as an opinion. Why are you taking it serious and why you are raising your voice? No, no, I I am not raising. Okay, so no, this is by default. My tone is like that, so I don't intend uh -huh. to raise my voice. I I I'm sorry. You are that. very yeah. loud. And yeah, but but sadly, I yeah. Okay, I got scared. Thing. Situation three. Yeah. Uh, yes. So now so, I do have uh, some priority tasks to be accomplished today, and this is a little bit priority as well. Do you have any uh, time to accommodate some ad hoc meeting? Will it be okay if I schedule something? I know you are pretty busy and your calendar is quite occupied, but do you have? Uh, Sindhu, my my plate is completely full for today. Uh, can we do it tomorrow? I cannot take any ad hoc meetings. Okay. Okay. You yeah, can just... pack it for tomorrow. Yeah, I'll try, guys. Thank you. Situation four. It, it's already. Hey, hi, Sonal. How are you? I am good, Sindhu. But uh, I have been waiting on this bridge from last five minutes. I appreciate if you join some uh, on on time for next meetings. Okay, or sorry. inform me either. Yeah, or inform me either. Okay, sorry for not being punctual. Mm -hmm. Situation five. Yeah. Hey, hi, Zonal. It's been very long. We haven't met each other. How are you today? I am good. How are you today? Yes, I'm doing good too. Yeah. Uh, uh some. There is some smell is coming, Sindhu. Is can you can you? I don't I don't feel anything and I don't sense any smell. No, I, I think when I'm coming there, you are. Ah, this is yeah maybe. Uh, okay. Oh, so this may be my castor oil. This is my tradition at my home. We used to apply some castor oil to enrich our hairs. So that smell may be the reason for this one. Oh, okay. Uh, probably it's it's quite hard and quite pungent. Uh, okay. I I'll catch up next time with you, Sindhu. Yeah. Uh, I okay. I leave for now. I just grab a cup of coffee. Thank you. Okay. Situation six. Situation seven. Yes. Uh, Sonal, uh, Sonal, uh, I'm working on uh, this uh, priority activity and uh, I finished it two days ago. 
uh, have you started that item to test uh the it is already there on the board so i updated the board and i had completed it two days back i appreciate it we will look at the board and cross check oh sonal you could mm -hmm. have informed me right once you have done and so that i could have picked it this is a kind of priority item i was occupied yeah. with multiple activities so i thought you will be informing me so that i can pick it up and But i can have work. a board in place to inform right update uh, and inform of course if you informed uh, i would have finished that item by this time and this is a kind of priority uh, uh but i think mean, updating the board is also one task which we do uh, okay. you can check the board yeah okay situation 8 8 yes sir uh sonal some some leave is there for next week right uh, what is it do you have any idea yeah the sale is coming up next week i think yeah ah, oh okay but why people are giving leaves for this kind of small small festivals for small small groups and all we could have they could have given this leave for some long bigger festivals and all for a small group and the small festival uh, but, but, but uh, person a in the group belongs to a region where, where the festival is very popular so isn't it so but i'm not big fan we can refrain this kind of leaves organization mncs can do like this i don't know why are they giving this much importance to everyone Okay. Okay. So we just explain eight situations, and we, as a scrum master, or here in this role play, we are going to propose solutions and conflict resolution techniques for every situation and how we should behave. That also we are going to propose. Okay. For situation one, we are some people. from rural background or some other different background their pronunciation must be different instead of loss they will lose they may not be good at communication homophones mistakes may be there so that time we should use we should coach our team based on the accommodating conflict resolution techniques so this is a kind of accommodation what we need to do along with the remaining team members to adjust them to accommodate people from some different backgrounds they may be the first graduate from their village or from their place itself or from their family so they may be having some lag in their way of communication or pronunciation so we have to use accommodation technique to uh, to coach our team members to accommodate him or her yes very well explained sindhu and for the second situation where the person just becomes loud all of a sudden so there are some personalities in our team when we uh, for for those personalities they are there loud by chance and uh, they they don't mean to be that harsh but their tone does not somewhere uh, in sync with what they intend to so yes it it is both ways the person also try to work upon their tone and the team members should also understand from the personality perspective that the person doesn't intend to uh, disrespect someone but it's by default come by the nature of their tone or or probably the way they they are brought up they are hyperactive so sometimes it happens so personality reflection should also be uh, considered when we are accommodating uh, our team members or just avoid this kind of nature so this technique can also be uh, considered Uh, for this type of consequences exactly yeah. few may have high pitch few may have low pitch low but pitch. it doesn't mean that uh, they are sharing their opinion in the mode of fight so it's just they share their opinion but on the other hand we understood i sense that you are shouting or you are yelling at me but that is not the thing your nature your brought up is the way okay yeah. moving on to the third situation saying no when i requested for ad hoc meetings she said no that is a good practice but basically we may not have that kind of tendency to say no up front but that is not harmful so we need to compromise and we need to prioritize things so we here we used compromise technique scrum master should use compromise technique or whatever the technique they feel apt for that situation they can go ahead and discuss with their team members either it's one on one or as a closed group so saying no we can try compromise technique yeah and adding to this when the other person said no she is making it transparent and easier for you that she is completely occupied for today yes. and probably you can see some other solution and also she is letting you know that tomorrow she is available so you can 
plan your work accordingly. So transparency is something she is helping with, uh, with you all. So there is some good thing in that situation as well. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so next situation is when I was waiting on the bridge and the other person was not punctual. So here something uh, we the scrum masters can coach the team uh, when where you can be punctual enough and uh, respect other time also. So uh, for example, in uh, uh, in various time zones, time punctuality is considered in different manners. Where since we work globally also, and uh, in some areas, time punctuality is everything. So considering uh, all the flavors of, of global and Indian, uh, we should be uh, attending all the meetings on time and joining also well in time. Or if you are not able to buy due to some or X, Y, Z reason, we should at least inform the person that I will be five, seven minutes late. So the other person time also, uh, other person feels valued for their time as well. So yeah, I think this is something we as scrum masters can coach the uh, team members. That is great answer. And scenario five, it's using the mother tongue in the common meeting where other cultural people, other country people are participating. So it, it's very quite common for everyone when we are dig deep into the discussion or dive into the discussion, emotionally, we will start to talk in our mother tongue. However, uh, we as a scrum master, can encourage that in some time. On the other hand, if someone feel that they are cornered or they are feel left or they feel that disgusting talking in the mother tongue. So we have to jump in and we can let team members know, see, mistakenly or unconsciously, you started to talk your mother tongue. So can you please refrain talking mother tongues or some language? Can you please use some common language like that? We can encourage our team member. So the technique, what we can use here, is it accommodating or otherwise compromising? Few time, few members will compromise. Okay, let them talk we will get the solution at last let them discuss like that they will be doing so accommodating or compromising is best technique for this kind of conflicts yes absolutely uh, so moving on to the next situation the castor oil one so when uh, when the other person has, has put in castor oil there can be some various reasons behind it uh, a person using some kind of specific product uh, so there we can be more cautious and uh, and uh, politely handle the situation. If you are not liking something, uh, you can respectfully leave the situation and not and taking care that you don't hurt other person uh, feelings. For example, uh, if we see that situation, Sindhu was very energetic to meet Sonan and she wanted to drive the conversation and probably she had few points to discuss with. And uh, Sonan has left very abruptly because she could not bear that smell. So I think in, in this situation, it has to be both ways. Uh, Sindhu can also take care of these things that while coming to office, she should not uh, put on such kind of uh, pregnancies or, or some soft pregnancies can be used. And even in case of Sonal, uh, she can be more compromising on such a situation and take care that she don't hurt the feelings of other person. Because uh, we have to give that mutual respect. If you don't give respect, you will not be able to give respect. And uh, again, uh, respect is one of the scrum values and we should always uh, that will encourage the team bonding. Otherwise, it, it can become difficult. Unnecessary, it can become difficult. Yeah. yeah. Well said. Well said, Sonal. Yes. This is one kind of sensitive stuff when yes, we we have to uh, we have to handle this very sensitively and carefully on this kind of thing. We as a scrum master should pitch in properly when this kind of situation comes, and you need to save or rescue or support team members, and sh you should educate them and make them understand this may be their culture or whatever it is. On the other hand, you can say to, to that person also, when you are coming to this kind of meeting, if it is not that mandatory, we can refrain or that kind, we can say. But it's mm -hmm. a kind of very emotional and sensitive thing. We should handle it very cautious, cautiously. Yes. Moving yes. on to the next scenario, scenario number seven. So this is something very common and day-to-day -day life we are encountering. We always, always, talks about agile values and principles and all but sometimes we are forgetting individuals and interaction is more than process and tools once a developer has done their activity if there is a good collaboration between the developer and tester they could have informed as well instead of updating the tool yes of course updating the tool is also essential along with that if he if he would have collaborated with that person they might have finished that activity as a team we could have delivered one thing very soon so here that collaboration is missing we as a scrum master can bring the team members into one-on-one -on -one, some small closed room and we can discuss with them and you can use collaborating technique here to 
make this collaboration happen in your team so if you are collaborating a lot our deliverable will be high we become high performing and self mature team quite soon yeah very well said and the last point which we discussed uh, leave for the sera or or any other festival for example uh, in india only there are a lot of uh, people on, on various communities religions and and we are very di diverse uh, region and and now since post work from home uh, we work globally and before that also we used to work globally but since more of the uh, remote culture coming up uh, we we should also take care that we uh, we are since we are diverse in team we we uh, include everyone uh, we should be inclusive enough to take care of everyone's uh, uh, sensitivities belief plans uh, their emotions their values so that they feel heard and they feel that this is their place because office is a place where a person spends a good 8 to 9 hours and if that person is not valued or if that person feels that they are uh, they are not being accepted by the team members be it it is a very small thing that uh, uh, that particular festival probably is important for their their culture and religion and the whole team is not acknowledging it Uh, that uh, that will not some anyone will not like it. So it, it should be uh, we should take care. Being essence, we should uh, collaborate on such things also and accommodate on on uh, on these small small things. So so that all the people and the team members of any diversity, any culture, they feel valued. Yeah, thank you, Sonal, so much for that one. And uh, in a nutshell, how you will make the team members feel valued and they are heard. so two points i do have with me to share first point is that uh, when this kind of situation happens we as a scrum master should take some kind of coaching steps or actions that is really really essential so that the team members will feel to being with you and we can bring the trust with the team members so once after the discussion we can ensure to inform the team or the specific person like these are all the steps i have taken and this actions i'm going to take now and this results you will see by this time that kind of defined proper thing or over a period you will see this change in our team if we commit like this to the team member and if you are showcasing that we are taking actions for their points that is one point we can inform them or we can let them know see i am here with you i am taking actions for you you are my team trust me believe me that kind of emotional bond we can bring the next point is that there is one technique so called active listening and parroting so when the team members are saying or sharing their concerns or some other appetites sir they are having we as a scrum master should listen them and when we conclude this point i heard you repeated you want to accommodate everyone's festival we need to respect everyone so you used this terms the same terms we should repeat when we are answering to them same term same slang we should use to repeat them so that we will be emotionally connect with each other so that is where we can confirm that they we listen them so it is a technique so called active listening or parroting we need to do our act like a parrot to repeat what they said to us so we are ensuring that we are mm -hmm. having this uh, transparency and we are making them more trust and we are here for them to support in this activity yes, yes. so uh, just adding to it uh, uh, the way you said emotionally so this emotional intelligence uh, using this situation very emotionally and correctly the scrum master can uh, give the psychological safety exactly. to the team members so that they feel secure they feel valued and they feel heard upon if a person feel valued and heard uh, no they they are so passionate towards their work if they feel uh, and and that will do wonders as a team if all the team members work as one team uh, they can do wonders accepting respecting each other uh, these things uh, do do lot of wonders you don't have to push anyone to do work then you don't have to follow up or, uh, to anyone on any kind of work uh, it it just flows it just flows like a river yeah yeah you are correct thank you so much sonal it was wonderful session with you today Same have a great day you too thank you bye bye, bye.